more unbagging for you YouTube, more uh, glorious bits and bobs from our local forge world. So the first bag is the Contemptor body. Now, I'm pretty sure that you'll have seen a lot about the Contemptor, so I'm just going to whiz through this quickly. Standard body with the Aquila across the front, the purity seals. Um, and as you've seen on my other Contemptor, I take that eagle off. I don't want the eagle on mine because uh, eventually it will be a Chaos Contemptor. Nice big base for it, and I'm hoping to do some nice bits with. Shoulder sections, a couple of different feet options, so you can have it treading forward or flat-footed, depends how you want to do it, stood, braced or moving. Uh, the upper legs. Shins, so they go onto the legs feet go in the ball joints in the bottom. The reactor pack, because it does kind of need to move. It's balls and waist, so you can position the body. Knee pads, and of course the head. It's kind of handy if it can see where it's going, really. Uh, which is a good start, but that's not really the bit that I wanted to focus on to show you here. Um, this Contemptor is going to be a bit different to my other one. Uh, this Contemptor is built for hurting people up close. So I've got two of these packs. One there that I'll take apart, one there. Now this option is the Contemptor Pattern Assault Claw. So not the Power Fist, it's the Power Claw. Looks a little bit meaner. Fairly standard in its, in its build. In so much as it has the uh, normal fist and arm sections there uh, so that would go onto there you have your weapon in the middle and that goes up to the actual arm plates from there it still has in it which I thought was a very nice surprise normal hands normal fingers which um, I really wasn't expecting to find in there to be honest I was expecting the, the stabby stabby claws so that was a nice little bonus but this is the part about it that I really wanted. I mean, look at that. If you're going to have a close combat dreadnought for a legion like the Night Lords, you want something that looks a little bit meaty, a little bit vicious, and you don't get much more vicious than that, short of trying to replace them with chain blades. Ooh. And then these lovely bits here. Now, the Contemptor, when it comes with this particular weapon arm, comes with a different set of weapon options. You can have the Plasma Blaster, this wee beast here, which basically is a scaled down plasma cannon. Still uses the small blast, still gets hot and everything, but um, yeah, it's a scaled down plasma cannon to fit inside his fist. Boom, big explosion. But you can only ever take one. You can't have both arms ladled up with them. The other weapon option you get is the Graviton Gun. So you take a strength test, take a wound if you don't pass it, and pinning test. Uh, causes things to be dangerous terrain, I believe, as well. Um, don't quote me on that, I'm not a million percent sure, but it's a nice little gun. I'm looking forward to putting that on the bottom of one of the weapon arms. So two of those packs, and just because I wanted to have a little more punch, a little more zazz, I also picked this up from Forge World the Contemptor Pattern Missile Pod, and this is their new packaging that they've started doing for some of the smaller bits, blister packs. So you can see in here, it's got the targeting augury head, and the two missile pods, the joint in the middle there, and then the two covers for the missiles, just so you don't end up uh, burning your hand on the side of a really hot missile. But that's another one for the Night Lords, and given that it's it's got the Plasma Blaster on it, it has a little bit of range to it anyway, I'm quite tempted to put the Missile Pod across onto this guy, just to make him a little more hench. So, I, I don't know, um, thoughts from YouTube really, Missile Pod on this Contemptor, which already has the dual LAS cannons, for a bit of anti-tank, or Missile pod on the Contemptor from the part 
which is going to have the two claws. So it's going to be mainly close combat, but I just thought it's a bit, a bit nice having close combat contemptor with a missile pod. I mean, come on, Captain Overkill, it's amazing. But yeah, that's what's in the bag. Stay tuned and uh, I'll get him all built, sorted and looking beautiful for you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon.